Subcellular structures are features of the cell that have a specific function. Examples include the cell membrane and nucleus. Some subcellular structures can be found in all cells. Others are unique to a particular cell type. There are three subcellular structures that are common to animal, plant and bacterial cells. They are the cytoplasm. This is the gel-like substance that fills a cell. It contains lots of different enzymes and is where most of the cell's chemical reactions take place. Ribosomes, represented here by the little black dots, are where translation of genetic material takes place. This is where the genetic code is translated into amino acids that make up proteins. Therefore, ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. And finally, the cell membrane. This is a barrier that holds the cell together. It is responsible for controlling which substances are able to come into or get out of the cell. There are two subcellular structures that are found in both plant and animal cells, but not bacterial cells. The nucleus, where the genetic material which controls the cell's activities, is coiled up and stored as chromosomes. It is important to note that bacterial cells also have DNA, but it is not contained within a nucleus. Plant and animal cells also have mitochondria. This is where the energy that is needed for the cell to be able to function is released during the process of respiration. There are three subcellular structures that are unique to plant cells that are not found in animal or bacterial cells. They are the permanent large vacuole. This is a cell compartment filled with a weak solution of salt and sugars called sap. The large vacuole provides support to the plant cell, helping it to stay turgid. Chloroplasts are the site of photosynthesis. They contain the green pigment chlorophyll, which absorbs the light energy needed to turn carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen during photosynthesis. And finally, the cell wall, made from the carbohydrate cellulose. The cell wall is rigid and provides structure and strength to the plant cell. There are four subcellular structures that are unique to bacterial cells. As I said earlier, bacterial cells have chromosomal DNA, but it is not contained within a nucleus. It is free to flow in the nuclear region of the cytoplasm. Bacteria can also have a flagellum, or if they have more than one, the plural for that is flagella. The flagellum is a whip-like tail that can rotate to move the bacterial cells towards nutrients or away from harmful toxins. Bacterial cells contain plasmid DNA. These are small loops of DNA that contain extra genetic information. For example, the genes that make a bacterial cell resistant to particular antibiotics. Plasmid DNA can be passed between bacteria. And like plant cells, some bacteria have a cell wall. However, it is made from polysaccharides and protein, as opposed to the carbohydrate cellulose. The cell wall provides structure to the bacterial cell. So to summarise, here's a handy table to show that there are three subcellular structures common to animal, plant and bacterial cells, the cytoplasm, cell membrane and ribosomes. There are two subcellular structures that are common to animal and plant, but not bacterial cells, the mitochondria and nucleus. There are three subcellular structures unique to plant cells, the cellular cell wall, chloroplasts and the permanent large vacuole. And there are four subcellular structures unique to bacterial cells, free chromosomal DNA, plasmid DNA, the flagellum, and some bacteria also have a cell wall made from polysaccharides and protein. If you would like some free GCSE revision notes that accompany this series of videos, please head over to my website www.drmeclever.com. You'll also find my revision guides here. And if you want to say hello and get updates on my latest work, scrollable revision notes and freebies, you can follow me on Instagram or other social media under the handle at DrMeClever. And finally, if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share. Thank you.